Hey guys, so it's day 10. I'm going to show you how I made this really easy and quick um, Polaroid collage um, frame or whatever you want to call it. Um, it was very easy and simple, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to make um, a Polaroid or any really any photo um, like collage display um, board. So this was just that I painted many years ago, just playing around with some acrylic paint. Um, kind of just was trying to do like an abstract. And I really didn't really like it, so I put it away in the closet, and it's just been sitting there forever. It's really nice wood. I got it at Walmart. Um, so I wanted to repurpose it. So I really like the idea of putting, you know, what's, um, these little clothes uh, hanger clips on some uh, twine and display in your Polaroid is what I like to use it for, but you can use it for also photos too. It doesn't matter. So you're going to need a package of mini um, uh, clothes hanger clips, some twine or I prefer hemp uh, cable, whatever kind of board you're going to use, you need a hot glue gun, and you're going to need um, some scissors. And I show you where it's, yeah, it's a very simple, you know, quick project. So what you're going to do first is you're going to need to um, kind of measure out or just kind of like eyeball how much string you're going to need to go across. And I wanted to go wrap it around to the back so I can glue it that way. So we're going to go a little over. So I'll probably hang that much over on one end. And we'll hang over about that much on the other end. So right about there. So we're going to cut there. I'm going to do two strings because well, since I'm going to prim uh, primarily use it for Polaroids, you also might want to get an um, image so you can kind of judge, you know, the distance you're going to need. So I'm going to put the first string like that. It's kind of like there. And let's hang the other string right about like that. It's because then this one should hang. And it don't matter if it hangs off a little bit either. Kind of gives it a little more um, hand, uh, homemade uh, feel to it. So we'll cut this one here. So that should be all you need of that. I'm going to move the picture now. And um, really all you got to do, like I said, this is going to be a very simple project. Turn your board over. Kind of lay your string out a little bit. And just kind of, if you want to, you can eyeball it this way, or you can turn it back over and kind of get your idea of where you want it, do one at a time. So let's do the top one. So the top one was going to go about like that. So grab it and hold it. Flip your board over and like that. That's what you're going to do. So, um, this is also a really cool little um, hot glue pin, they call it. I like it because it gives you a lot more precision and it kind of saves a little bit on the hot glue um, to, to get it to load it up. You just pull these back and then you'll press this button here it will cause it to shoot it out. Another thing that's cool about it is if you see the tip here, it's red. When it turns red, once when it's hot enough to start using, kind of like that too. And when it's dark, like it's a black collar, that's completely cooled down. So we'll start using that. Our top string. You want it kind of loose. You want it real tight because we're going to try to fit our clothes pins on there next. So now we'll do the same thing to this side. I'm going to use your picture again if you want to to help guide where you want it. So that's probably perfect. And then grab one side, hold it down. And then 
and flip it over. So then, we're just about done already. I told you it's a very fast project. Now, you'll take your clips and kind of decide, you know, where you want to um, put them at. Um, and what you can do, you can super glue them onto the string if you want to. Uh, I don't think it's necessary, though, by no means. So, I just take, pick it up and clip them in there and then you shove it all the way to the back of the where the metal um, spring is and then kind of judge where you want it to be I say figure we can probably fit yeah it's so about three to four clips um, yeah we can do four so let's do four What's cool too about not gluing them is you can adjust them any way you want them. But we know four is going to be the max amount. Okay. And um, now you can start hanging your photos. You can either just do them, you know, randomly, like this, and then you can always try to, another thing too is I also have um, the Instax Squares Polaroid film, or uh, Instant film, or even the Minis, and the Minis, of course, you can fit even more, but you can do this, do this. And do this so then they'll hang on the wall like that and it's a good way to showcase your photos and it was super easy and um, fun to do um, but I mean because it's hard to find frames for these type of photos I mean they're you know they're kind of odd shape and um, it's just really hard to find so that's why I really like this idea and I know I'm not the first one to have the idea I know that but I just want to show you how easy it is and also repurposing some old wood or anything you know that you can hang on a wall you can do this with just put some string on it and do that and you've got it so thank you guys for being here and watching this with me if you guys wouldn't mind check out my description for the, some fun links um, to my social media or even to some products also too um, there will be a link for the Polaroid film if you're a person that likes to shoot with Polaroid if you use that link, you'll get 10% off, and also it gives me some uh, loyalty points. And um, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up on this video if you liked it, because it helps spread my video across YouTube land. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to, forget to hit that big subscribe button. Thank you guys again for being here and watching this with me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!